Okay, so the pause thing didn't work. So I am going to attempt to put the first part of this with this part and see if I can get it together with a quick cut or something. I have no idea. But I want to show you something really, really cool. In addition to uh, doing my refurbishing and having my pad syndrome, here's a little one I picked up on eBay and it was just delivered. Here you go. Are you ready? This is called a torpedo pipe. Isn't that interesting? Let me get it closer here. Isn't that wild? I got a great price on it. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a dive bomber. But it's really cool. Look at this. The front doesn't come off. I tried already. But I'm wondering... Who, first of all, could have thought of something like this? How old it is? I mean, you know, you'd think it would, would be made in uh, World War II or something, or of that era. And uh, I can't find any information on it. So if anybody comes across anything on a torpedo pipe because all I found was a bunch of crack pipes when I found when I looked up torpedo pipe but it's got a nice there we go the lights better oval bowl and fits really well the uh, tenon in the shank I know I'm shaking this all over the place but that is the coolest thing I have ever seen and I had to have it it looks brand new or it looks well it was smoked I guess but not very much so that's the torpedo pipe and then I'm gonna kind of dig down here and see if I can find if it's in the right place sorry about this ah I found it I don't know if you guys recall I'm going to sort of try and hold this this way so I can open the bag. I don't know if you guys recall the really beat up pipes that I got from eBay that I was so disgusted with. I paid $41 for all these pipes and I was so disgusted that uh, I told you about it. Well, there was a bulldog in there. It was black. And you probably might remember that there was a huge gouge in the side of it, which didn't show up in the pictures because the guy who put the ad on, uh, you know, was kind of a scammer. I was bound and determined to do something with this pipe so that maybe I could sell it for two or three dollars and uh, see what happened. So here it is. It was totally black and I sanded everything down and left the black in the uh, little pattern in there, whatever you call it, the squiggly lines. And let's see, I'm turning around this way. Where's the back? There's the back. I hope you can see this fairly well. Uh, if you can't, you get the idea anyway. But if you remember, there was a huge gouge 
in the side of this. I mean, literally on the flat part. And I took some of the um, epoxy glue, the black glue. I'm sorry, I can't remember what the heck the name is of it, but you all know it. They use it on guitar frets. And I filled it in. And then I decided to leave the black stained so that it would sort of blend in a little bit. There you can, well, you can see where I filled it because the pattern isn't there. If you look at it this way, you will see, I'll turn it the right way. You will see that there's an indentation on the shank. And that's where the gouge was, and it didn't really fill out there. That's where it is, right there. See how it goes in? So, I kind of sanded down the stem a little bit and sort of made it as symmetrical or diametrical as possible. And it didn't come there. You can see it better that way. See that? But the interesting thing with the stem is you have to line it up with that sanding mark in order for it to make, you know, match. And it doesn't match that well. But it kind of works. Maybe I'll get a couple of bucks on it. Well, while we're doing this, let me grab a few more here. Put them up on the old dashboard. I got a new I got a new phone. And I am so happy I got a new phone finally. Um, I crucified the other one again. It dropped in Lucy's glass of water. And I was not going to try and fix it. Not again. That just forget it. Uh, it was a nice LG. I liked it. But uh, I went to Samsung this time and got a um, something called a J7 Star. Uh, it's got a better camera. It's got 13 megapixels on this selfie camera and 13 on the rear. I want to start getting out of the car and doing some things, but I need some equipment to do that. I need like a, a selfie stick thing, one of those long ones. <laughs> And also, what I want to do is I want to get a tripod with a cell mount. But here's the kind of amount I really ultimately would like to get. I would like to get a cell mount for a tripod that gives me remote pan and tilt. And zoom. That would be so cool to be able to do that. And then... I'm trying to learn this Power Director, which is the program that a lot of you use for editing. And it does load on your cell phone. I don't have a computer. Uh, it does load on your cell phone, so I'm going to be giving myself uh, a tutorial on that. Here's another interesting one that I found and just happened to run across it. And believe it or not, I'm in Boca Raton, Florida. And this person was selling this pipe like two towns down in a town called Pompano Beach. But take a look at this. This is, this is something that, again, I haven't been able to research and find anything on. So that if anybody's interested and would like to, you know, give me a hand, uh, that would be great. You could write it in the comments or uh, whatever. But look at this thing. It's old, I know that. Here, let me hold it back. Isn't he something? The bottom, the round part on the bottom, actually comes off. And I, I can tell it's old because on here, the ring, that looks really blurry. The ring is made out of, of brass. And it hasn't really got a tenon in it, 
Um, it's got uh, a military mount. I'm going to really try and pause this now and see what happens. Okay, I'm back. And I think it paused successfully. I hope so anyway. Well, I was wrong. It's not a military mount. It does have a tenon on the stem. But that's brass. And I can't wait to polish it up. There, that's better for the focus. That's brass. It's got a big bowl in it. And look, the rim is in pretty good shape. But this thing has got to be old. It's Algerian briar. Let's turn it this way. And I'm going to pause you again for a second so I can show you something else. Put the stem back on. Oh, well, first let me show you the stem. See, it's it's got a tenon on it. The tenon's in great shape. Um, it's got a, I guess you'd call that a P-lip. With a small hole up there. I'm still learning about this stuff, guys. Okay, I'm going to pause it, put it back together, and show you the next feature on this one. Hey, I'm back. The bottom, the round bottom that I showed you when it was on the bottom of the pipe like that, that comes off. And I guess it came off so that it, they, you'd be able to clean it more efficiently. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Well, maybe. I don't have a light and I don't have three hands. So, well, maybe a little bit. But anyway, that comes off the bottom. And if you ever want to be a clown, you can always do this and wear it like a nose. <laughs> it actually smells like some kind of a sweet soap in there, so I don't know what they cleaned it with. But it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever had. Um, it's a nice smell. But here's the pipe when you take the bottom off. It looks like this. And you can see it's threaded with the wooden threads. And there's a hole right in the middle of it. But there's another hole into the shank. So maybe this was used, that compartment was used to trap the smoke into one area and give you a better draw on the pipe. I, I get fascinated over these kinds of things and these kinds of pipes. Um, I love to find the oddballs. Uh, yes, all the other ones are beautiful. But since I'm an oddball, I like the oddballs. Been seeing some great videos from everybody. And really, really enjoying this. Um, what a wonderful, wonderful thing. We all say that, I guess, on every video. But it's the truth. And we kind of bubble over with the YTPC. Things are good. Things are really good. I'm really blessed. And I think one of the reasons why I'm blessed is because I have all of you as friends. Uh, it's kind of like when you're a kid, or at least when I was a kid in the 60s, we'd call each other on the phone, we'd all grab our bikes, we'd go out, we'd hang out for hours and hours and hours doing all kinds of stuff, having a great time. Well, we're kind of the same way in this group. We hang out together, we trade things. We give each other things. We care about each other. We want to help each other when there are problems or concerns. I think the light is going kind of crazy in this. I'm not sure. I hope there are no borders on either side of this video. 
uh, because that's why I bought the phone. I'm at 15 minutes. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to say God bless each and every one of you. I'm going to say that I need to get out with you more. I love to comment on your videos. And just thank you for being you. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Jimmy Tabaki. Catch you later.